Hello and what's up my friends, it's ThunderBob here, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at a Steam Deck plugin for the Decky plugin system that would allow you to record video on the Steam Deck directly. You don't need to plug it into a computer, into a capture card or anything, you can record video directly. And this is kind of a follow-up. Um, a couple months ago I did a video on a crankshaft plugin called Recapture. Unfortunately, crankshaft ended up breaking in one of the various Steam updates and uh, they have not gone and fixed it yet. Decky was kind of the competitor to Crankshaft as far as plugins for the Steam Deck. And uh, just recently, within the last couple of weeks, there has been a uh, recorder added to the Pluggy store, which will allow you to capture video directly. So I'm going to show you the installation of this plugin, both of Decky and the recorder. We're going to show you what some of the footage looks like, and then I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks as far as getting it to your computer and fixing a couple of bugs that I've run into. Now, this is the GitHub repository for the Dickey recorder. You don't actually need to come here to install it, but I just wanted to show um, that this, it does say here that it's heavily based on the Recapture plugin from Crankshaft, so uh, kudos to them. Uh, it seems very, very similar, though I'm running into fewer bugs with this than I did recapture. Um, and we'll talk about that as we as we go through here. And uh, here is the Ducky Loader GitHub repository. You will need to come to this page to install it. I'm going to have written instructions below, and I'm going to be kind of talking through this. There are tons of videos for how to install the Ducky Loader. I don't want to make a long video about that. It's very simple. Literally, you go to this web page, which I'll have linked in the description of the video below. There's installation instructions here. They recommend installing this with a mouse and keyboard. I did it without one. It wasn't that difficult. Basically, uh, you click the Steam button and you click switch to desktop from the power menu. You navigate to this web page on your Steam Deck in the desktop mode. You click this download button. You run that install. And that's it. It'll install it for you. It'll actually pop up and ask you if you want the latest release or the pre-release version. I went with the latest release. From there, you return to gaming mode. You should then have uh, a new icon in your menu, which we'll jump to next. I do want to just highlight real quickly, there's a common issues uh, link down here on the Decky Loader page. It says specifically here, Crankshaft is incompatible with Decky Loader. Uh, I actually ran into a problem. Crankshaft has not worked for months, but I never went in and uninstalled it. So I installed um, the Decky Loader and was having a ton of problems. I went back, I uninstalled Crankshaft, went back uh, into game mode, was still running into issues, restarted completely after removing Crankshaft, and then everything started working. So before you install this, I would definitely recommend uninstalling Crankshaft if you followed my previous video or if you just used it in the past. It does cause some issues here. Okay, from there you go to the game mode. You click on the three dot button in the bottom right corner of your screen. You navigate down to this new icon for Ducky that you'll have in the bottom. This is the button for the store where you can find a bunch of different plugins for Ducky. This will bring up a list of a ton of different plugins. There's stuff here like Power Tools, which is really useful. You can change like the art for different non-Steam games. Uh, there's just a ton of useful tools in here. Here's the install for the Ducky Recorder. Simply click Install, and uh, it takes about, I don't know, 10 seconds to install. There's a ton of useful stuff in here. I would skim through it. Uh, install the ones you'd like, but the main one we're talking about right now is the Ducky Record. Once you've installed a plugin, it'll show up on this list. Uh, you can see I've got Ducky Recorder installed already. You just go down to it. And from here, you can stop or start the recording. And you can also change the file type. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit later in more depth. Um, but I actually found .move best when I was recording because otherwise I had issues with the audio playback in DaVinci Resolve, which is where I edit most of my videos. And now I'm just going to have some video in the background that I've recorded using the Ducky uh, recorder uh, just to have some visual um, to look at while we're talking. A um, couple of things I want to mention. Uh, like I said, if you use anything but the .mov, I've run in some issues 
um, when I import this file into things like DaVinci Resolve, uh, I get no audio at all. If I just open it with like VLC player or Windows Media Player, um, the audio works perfectly. But when I uh, import it into DaVinci Resolve, for whatever reason, that file uh, by default as an MP4 or as the MKV uh, does not work. When I did .mov, I was able to get audio in DaVinci Resolve and I didn't seem to have any other um, like negative consequences. So that's what I'm using for the time being. An alternative would be to import the .mp4 file into something like Audacity. Uh, I was able to export the audio as an MP3 and drop that into DaVinci Resolve and sync it up with the video file and that worked also, but it just adding extra steps that I'm really not wanting to do. So using the .mov uh, is my solution for the moment. And I also wanted to talk about the resources that this recorder uses on the Steam Deck. You know, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy, which is one of the more demanding games you can play on the Steam Deck. But you can see I'm hitting almost a constant 40 or more. Um, when I unlock the frame rate and I run the like, recorder, um, I was benching it in a location I was getting uh, about 48 FPS with the recorder off and about 46 FPS with the recorder on. So we're talking a pretty minimal uh, resource load here, uh, even on a very demanding game. I think that's what three to five percent overhead, which is not too bad. And in a you know something smaller, like if you're playing like Vampire Survivors, you're playing um, you know a pretty simple 2D game, you're probably not going to notice this at all. Uh, on a really demanding game like this, it's a minor inconvenience. Um, but if the game is already running like very close to the limit, you know, is being able to to play at a reasonable FPS, then you may not want to do this record feature. Um, here's another example, Final Fantasy VII Remake. This game runs really beautifully. And you can see even with Decky Record running, I'm getting almost a locked at 40 FPS just with occasional drops. And this is one of the more demanding areas of the game that I've found. I've played this game exclusively on my Steam Deck and I'm, I'm probably 15 or 20 hours in at this stage. And even with the recording going here, uh, it runs quite well. This is actually a clip that I ran as an MP4, and you can see that's why I have no audio on it. Uh, if I re-recorded this as an MOV, uh, I should get audio. I also wanted to mention one other thing I ran into on recapture in particular. Um, longer videos had a higher failure rate. Like this, this plugin, um, I have not run into any failed records yet, but I've read anecdotally some people on Reddit saying that they ran into problems. And I remember in recapture, if I did a really long clip, it seemed more prevalent that it was going to fail. Uh, I would say maybe like 10% of my long videos, just the video was corrupted. Um, anything like 5 to 10 minutes long, I never had any issues with. But if you went longer than that, 20, 30 minutes, you had a higher likelihood of failing. I did one 30-minute video just to test it, and it was successful. So, so far I'm at 100%, but also I have not used this extensively for long video recording. I mostly use this to get small clips to use uh, in my videos for benchmarking and things like that. Okay, so now you've recorded your videos and you want to get them over to your computer for editing or whatever you're gonna do with it. Um, the best way I found is actually to move them over wirelessly. And I will link to a video which shows you how to do this. You could also just plug in like an external USB drive, drag them over, plug that into your computer. And there's also a Decky plugin that will allow you to plug your Steam Deck directly into your computer. I really haven't messed with that since I figured out how to do it wirelessly. Um, and basically you create a mapped network drive that will connect to your, your Steam Deck directly. Like this goes to my SD card on the Steam Deck. This goes to the main root directory. And then this goes to my home folder. And I know that the video um, files are stored in the home folder. You can see here the uh, drive location for my Steam Deck. If I go down to videos, here are the videos that I recorded on my Steam Deck uh, recently. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. Although video, I would make a video on this, but honestly, the, the video I saw is perfect. I don't want to copy it. I don't want to claim someone else's work. But if you want an easy way to wirelessly connect to your Steam Deck, even just have network location on your Windows-based PC, it is, it is essential. And it's as simple as just copying 
and here's just where I store my videos and I'm processing them. I do have a gigabit internet connection uh, with a pretty fast uh, wireless in here for the Steam Deck and my computer is wired. So uh, these files are about a gigabyte in size and looks like it'll take maybe a minute and a half to transfer. Not too bad, uh, considering I don't even need the Steam Deck in the same room. I can connect to it wirelessly. And uh, yeah, so that's a pretty awesome option as far as getting your files over to your computer. Well, that's the basics. Uh, that's how to install the Decky Loader. That's how to install the Decky Recording plugin. And uh, just some examples of some footage. Um, my thoughts on, you know, the best settings and also how to get those files over to your computer. Uh, I'm really enjoying this piece of software, this plugin, and we'll definitely be using it in the future as far as getting uh, video from my Steam Deck to my computer and recording video directly onto the Steam Deck without needing to use my capture card, which has been kind of a big pain in the butt lately. One reason why I haven't featured as much Steam Deck footage since the Crankshaft plugin stopped working. So uh, if you uh, want to check this out, I will have links to everything in the description below, along with some more detailed written instructions. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to check out some of my other content. I've got a ton of Steam Deck coverage, a ton of VR coverage, uh, play a lot of modern and also retro games. If you like what I'm doing, please do like, subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good night.